Okay, I'm on the Thompson River here just below Spencer's Bridge, uh, below the freeway bridge. I'm with uh, Ensign, uh, Herman Ensenhofer, rather, and they're doing some work uh, with the pinks here. Can you fill us in what's going on, Herm? Okay, so uh, this is an experiment uh, about seeing if we can differentiate species by tailbeat frequency using an imaging sonar system. So uh, what we've got here is a partial weir on the uh, Thompson River and the pinks and the uh, sockeye and the spring salmon are moving up the bank and uh, what we're doing is moving the fish offshore to go around a, an opening that we have at the end we have a fence here as you can see mm -hmm. on the upstream side of this fence is an imaging sonar system and the imaging sonar system gives you like a video, uh, but it's done with sound and water. So even if you couldn't see in the water, you would see the same image on the screen. And uh, since this is an experimental uh, thing, is we want to see if we can differentiate species by tailbeat frequency. So uh, the theory is that a, a pink has a faster tailbeat frequency per second than a sockeye and a, and a spring salmon and what we're trying to do is we if we can relate the work uh, with uh, we have video as well and we have the imaging sonar if we can use the sonar system to differentiate the the actual tail beat frequency uh, we can tell species through acoustics which is a real uh, sort of the holy grail of, of doing salmon. Uh, so this uh, here, you're just recording all this. You're is to be, have it analyzed later. You're not analyzing anything right now. You can't really. We're we're recording. We're collecting underwater video. If you'll, I'll walk along the weir. Okay, I'll follow you. So we have a pole mount here. This allows us to aim whatever instrument. It doesn't have to be an acoustic system. It can be an underwater camera, which is what it is. Mm -hmm. It allows us to move upstream, downstream. It allows us to move the camera vertically in the water column. It also allows us to position the level uh, of the camera where we want. Is so, this just new technology, Herm, or...? Not the camera. What's new is the Ditson. The Ditson is an imaging sonar system, and if you see here off the ladder, we have another one of these pole mounts, and the imaging sonar system um, is... It has a known beam width, vertically and horizontally. What? That is substrate is marked out the actual beam width of the Ditson. Oh, in range. So the Ditson is the range is from that. It looks like a lunchbox right it's in the water. Mm -hmm. That's the Ditson imaging sonar. It's worth about a hundred thousand dollars. Wow! And it will. There's a fish going right under this sucker. That's a pink. Not a sucker. Oh, it's a sucker. <laughs> so this is a substrate that we have put down because we want to have known reference point between the acoustic system and the video system so that we know that we're looking at the same fish. Yeah. And that's what the whole game is. So we're going to collect data sets and uh, then analyze them and see uh, if we can differentiate species. You can with a video that there's a known difference between a pink salmon and a sockeye salmon, their actual tail beat frequency. Well, we, I don't see any fish going over this right now. They're being moved out, you say? There, uh, there will be some. They just move, you know, mm -hmm. Horses. some move out. Some might be out at seven meters, which mm -hmm. is near the end of our substrate. We only want to get a data set because we're not trying to uh, get a number. We're, oh, we, I see. What we're trying to do is get get sufficient sample size uh, to be able to look at, say, you know, 100 or 200 of each species. When did, when did you start this, uh, this past week? Or? Uh, yeah, 
yeah. that we set up. And how long will you be here for? We'll probably be here a week or so. Yeah. That's quite a quite a lot of work though to get this uh, this all set up, isn't it? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. this is a, a a design that I had. I was here in 1995, and with a different technology, it was split beam hydroacoustics, mm -hmm. which at that time was the latest. So this information that uh, that's going to be gathered here is that going to be put out in a in a paper, pamphlet yes. or pardon me? Well, it'll be a uh, published paper. Published paper. It'll be the put methodology. Out. So the so one of the things is that you might be looking at is this: if you can differentiate species with acoustics, acoustics is a non-invasive way of, of counting fish. Right. And if you can tell species, uh, this removes a lot of the uh, requirements of, well, you know, like test fisheries, because some where you have to catch the fish and, to and know... And mortality. What, yes. Yeah. So How? this is, we're just observing them going by. So you're like the, the guy in the parking lot, you know, the attendant that's counting and watching the yeah. cars go by. Well, we're, you count and watch the fish go by, and if you can also, by just watching without having to set up cameras, the camera only has a a field of view of, or, you know, range of maximum three meters. Yeah. Well, how far is this beam going? Right across the river then? No, yeah. the, uh, on the, uh, the Ditson has two frequencies. So in the uh, high frequency, which gives you your best image, it'll go up to 15 meters. And then when, it, when you switch to a low frequency, you can go out to 40, 50 meters. But it's like having less, it uses half the number of beams, so it's like having less pixels in your TV screen. Right. So the image clarity is reduced. Mm -hmm. so what about the, now on the Fraser there, I, I know at Quailar you've done fish counting there, but that's different because, this because the of the turbidity of the water, I guess. It doesn't matter. Okay. It has nothing to do with okay. it. It's, it's, you will see, this is a very clear river, mm -hmm. but if you couldn't see in here, you would see the same image. You wouldn't see video, that's why. Why, there's uh, a fish. There's, there's fish now. Look at them here, Hermes. Really. What are those? Those pinks. Pinks. And there's the odd sockeye uh, we get. Yeah. And that's what we want. We want the mix. Mm. So, so we want to get a data set of, you know, I, I won't say the number. Probably a couple hundred. I should shouldn't say number, but that, mm -hmm. you know. Where we where are these uh, these pinks? I mean, this is amazing. They. Uh, you know, we think as a pink sort of as a fragile fish, but they beat their way through the canyon uh, yeah. down below. I got to shoot some video of that later. And uh, where, where, how far up the system do these pinks go, uh, Herman? Do you know? They're up in Cache Creek. Yeah. Uh, the uh, cat, well, Cache Creek itself. So in Main Stem, uh, Thompson, they're spawning. Nicola, you know, and all the way up. Uh, I actually. Uh, not up this river, but up Fraser, they, they do grow in a horse fly. Right. And what about these sockeye now? Are these, uh, these Adams be River sockeye? Ab Adams and, yeah. uh, and uh, Shoe Swap mm -hmm. Fish, and, yeah, Scotch Creek, and all different but, areas of that Shoe yeah. Swap system. Well, maybe let's move over to the tent here and uh, maybe yeah. we can explain a little bit what's going on over there. Okay. Without me falling in. It's a beautiful river, this. Yeah. Where I was there up on the mountain this morning, there was frost up there. Okay, what have we got uh, right here, Herm? That's on the left is just the uh, view from the uh, underwater video. Oh, yeah. You can't see anything on the screen here, really, can you? Or I guess it's... Well, you can see the substrate. Okay. Remember the field of view of a of a video camera, right? Only two to three meters. Yeah. So and that's all being recorded, as you say. And then over here, this you got this the, computer here. This is the image from the Ditson. Oh yeah. So it's marked off in meters range. So the Ditson, the the Ditson is sitting on the ladder that you saw, and it's down here. Mm -hmm. So this here, the, the I can't read that. You can't brighten it up or tilt it anyway. I can't see it. Well, it's the sun. Here. So this is marked in three, three and a half, four, four and a half. So that we're seeing, this is the actual substrate marked off in, right. in the, uh, well, it's sections of the, 
substrate. You shouldn't really see this because this is sound. Right. But what we're seeing is our, our uh, bottom substrate, the joints. Mm -hmm. So it's acting like a rock. Well, that's really good. That's some really good information there. Now, anybody that watches this video and wants to see the paper, it'll come out. It'll probably be a couple of years or something, but it'll be accessible through Fisheries and Oceans website, I imagine. Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Well, thanks for taking the time. We learned quite a bit here today, I think. You're I think welcome. I'm going to go catch some of those fish that are going by. Jacks, that is. <laughs> that's it. Well, you do that. Thanks, Herb.